This review is brought to you by DwayneWright.com, FileMaker Framework Solutions, virtual one-on-one FileMaker training, consulting, and custom design services. For more information, please visit www.DwayneWright.com. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne, and this is another one of my experimenting with FileMaker Go on a Sunday afternoon videos. And this one entails a need that I saw to tag a record on how it was created in regards to was it created with a desktop Mac or Windows machine or was it created with FileMaker Go on an iPad or was it created with FileMaker Pro with the iPhone, iPod Touch. And the uh, variation on that, was it in edited in one of those other environments? And part of this has got to do with an underlying idea or impression, if you will, that there will be times where you'll have a local copy of the database on your mobile device and you'll have to interact with it because you cannot connect to the shared version. And then at some point there'll be a syncing process. And I can only imagine knowing how the record was created or edited, if that wasn't true done on the mobile device, when you do the syncing, it would pay benefits going back and forth. So, and it turned out to be a little bit of a different journey than what I thought it would be. The created by was fairly easy. But, so this series of videos, I'm going to show you the desktop version, and then show you you know, how it looked on the iPad and on the iPhone using FileMaker Go. So I'm also going a bit low budget uh, like I do everything, I guess. So the camera work is now going to be highly professional as I just use my camera to look at the screens of the iPad and iPhone. And I hope you bear with me on these presentations. So this is kind of my rig. I have the iPhone in front of the iPad, which is in front of my iMac. I know it sounds kind of funny after it comes out of my mouth that way. But it is a pretty good testing platform. I can make changes on my iMac and immediately see the updates in both of the mobile devices. So that's how we're going to go ahead and work going back and forth. And I'll try to zoom in on the mobile devices as I want to illustrate the changes that were made. So what I wanted to do, and you can see I've made this video a few times, is to have a background tab that, amongst other data, would know what uh, platform I'd used to create a record and what platform was the last one that had edited that record. And so if we go back, you can see well, we've, we've had a couple of different changes um, as the data goes back and forth. So the very first one, if we take a look underneath the hood, was this Z created system platform and the Z modified system platform. The created system platform is an auto enter field. So if we bring that up, so I entered via calculated value. And if we take a look at it, what I've done is to use the get system platform function and then wrap that inside of an absolute function so that I get just the positive number that goes across and then go ahead and define that a little further to try to find out if it was FileMaker Go on the iPhone or iPad. So I've written a couple articles on this and uh, the FileMaker Help actually does a pretty good job of telling you, you know, which Windows operating systems return either a positive or negative two. You can break it down to that level. And the same thing with the Macintosh. A lot of them have to do with different OS changes. Uh, for our purposes, we really just want to know Mac or Windows. So that's, again, if we use the Git system platform, if it returns a two or a negative two, all we really care is about the two values. So that's why we use the absolute function to wrap it. Now it gets a little more interesting with the FileMaker Go because there is no negative 3 as of yet for FileMaker Go. There is just 3. And that will be for FileMaker Go period, whether it's on the iPad or the iPhone. 
So the variation of this, and I wasn't aware of it until I actually had heard about it on the uh, FileMaker Talk podcast, and then looked it up in the FileMaker Tech Brief, which you can download from FileMaker.com. And on page 18, it does talk a little bit more about the, the window sizes, and it gives you definitive information about the, the pixel ranges in the different platforms and with the toolbars hitting and whether or not you're looking at it in landscape or portrait mode. And what I tended to key off of was saying that, well, on an iPad, my width is going to be at least 760 pixels. And on the iPhone, it can be no more than 480 pixels, again, using that get window content width. So what I decided to do in my function is to, to key off this 480. And so if we take a look at it, I'm saying, well, if your system platform is a 3, your phone maker it go. And put in the and uh, operator in there. If the window content is less than 481 in pixels, then I'm assuming your phone maker go on the iPhone. And then if your system platform is 3 and you're above that width, then I assume your phone maker pro on the iPad. I don't know if FileMaker Go will make it to other platforms or how other platforms are going to evolve with the Android doing so well on the mobile phone and uh, inevitably going to come out in the, the tablet. That's just something we'll have to keep an eye on. So anyway, that automatically creates as we do new records. Now, the other one was modification, and we don't really have a auto enter by modification calculation. And so, I the method that I went to was using a script trigger. There may be other methods, and I definitely would love to hear them. So what I had done was, if we go into layout mode. And then we go into Layout Setup and go into Script Triggers. You can see that I've used an on record commit. So that means, you know, you've changed the record. That's a modification. And I'm running this script called Modified Data Capture. So let's go ahead and take a, a, a deeper look at that. Here we are in our script list and we'll use our Edit button to drill right down to that script. It is a single step script. It's a set field by name. And I'd have to admit this is one of the few times I've actually used this new um, script step. I usually just use set field. But the reason that I wanted to use set field by name here is because I wanted to have one script that I could use in one step in all the different modules, whether it's in the billing module or the transactions, vendors or bills, um, I wanted to go ahead and have the one script. So when the script step fires from the trigger, when the script fires from the trigger, uh, what it'll do is it'll take a look at the layout that you've got and see what the base table is that's linked to it and then set the field that it's appropriate to that base table. So for account, it would be counts, bills, bills, bills line, that type of thing. So when the script trigger fires, it automatically knows this is the appropriate field to modify. And then the modification is basically the same thing that I just showed you. The um, get system platform inside of the absolute function. And in the instance of trying to determine if it's FMP Go on the iPhone, taking a look at the get window content width. So that's the coding behind it. Script triggers are uh, supported by FileMaker Go. So let's go ahead and just show it on the different devices. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, go ahead and open our, from our iMac, in business money. a little more centered and we'll go ahead and open up our accounts file and then we'll check in our background information 
So here you can see this was Bank of Example 1, which was created on a Mac and modified last on a Mac. So let's go ahead and make a change on this. Let's go ahead and change our account number. And let's just add a um, dash four five. Let's say we forgot that the first time. We'll hide our keyboard. And then we'll click outside of there. And then we want to keep an eye on this modified platform to see that it does change to the iPad. And there we go. You can see that the modified platform, a modified, just jumped over to the iPad. So that worked out just fine. And if we go ahead and create a new account, and we just go ahead and say it's, you know, iPad. And we'll hide our keyboard and then just go ahead and commit. Well, matter of fact, you can see automatically it knew it was in the iPad. The modified will pop up. But there you can see that it does automatically know that the platform created was on the iPad. Okay, so now we're looking at FileMaker Go on the iPhone. Let's open up our file browser. Let's go ahead and our networked hosts. There's the iMac. And there's in business money. Little of a branch into a different splash screen on here due to the different window size. And then when it comes up to the accounts module, you'll see that we do have, you know, again, a different layout. doesn't have nearly as much. And the portals, I don't know if that's going to stay or not. I've, I've had mixed success working with portals on the uh, screen as small as the iPhone. But so what we can do, here's Bank of Example 1. That was the one that we had used originally. It's the very first record. So we'll just go ahead and click into the bank of example one. Actually, just go ahead and make that bank of example two. And then hide our keyboard. We'll click outside to commit that record. And now that's created, or edited rather. And let's go ahead and just add a new account. And let's just call that account Bob. Okay, so now Bob is saved. Let's go ahead and just go to a different record just in case. So bear with me as I move our camera back to the iPad. Looks like it might work. So um, down here we can see that there is yet. Let's go ahead and back that out a little bit further, and maybe just a little bit more. And take our iPhone down. So now you can kind of see. Again, I apologize for that. So now you can kind of see that we do have another record. that was added so let's just go to it and in the corner you can see that it was created and modified by the iPhone so then we'll go ahead and go to our very first record bank of example 2 and you can see that it was modified by the iPhone so we are be able to track who had created and who had modified it on these different mobile devices. So that's really it. And thanks for your indulgence on the video quality on the mobile shots. Um, we did cover the auto enter uh, via calculated value using the Git system platform and the, the small change as far as the Git content width and the script triggers that would use on all environments to go ahead and update the modified data. So that's a very quick example of a Sunday afternoon experimenting with FileMaker Go. Do you have questions or comments about the video you just saw? Please feel free to email me at info at Thank you.